Next up, the coping saw. The coping saw. When it comes, you take it out of the packet and you will notice that the blade is facing the wrong way. So the first thing we've got to do is get that sorted out. So to do that, we unscrew the handle here, just unscrew it. And for this, I think it's best just to take it all the way off. The handle comes off like so. Now, what we need to do now is pull this blade out of these little slots. So we're just gonna release the pressure on the screw here like that. There we go. And the blade is gonna need to turn around the other way. Once you've taken it apart like this, get your blade so it's facing the right way, but you also need to get the teeth facing the right way. And we want the teeth pointing this way towards the handle so that when we cut with the saw, it cuts as we pull towards us. Now you can set these either way around, but this is the proper way to set it, okay? Right then, so we're gonna put the little, uh, the little bits of the teeth over here in this slot which is quite a tricky thing to do. Then we're going to extend this out and get that little slot in as well. Okay, so the blade's in like this. Now hold everything together, get the little washer on this part here, get your handle and screw it back on. Now as you tighten it, the pressure is going to uh, pull this blade nice and straight for you and get everything working just as you want it. So you just keep tightening, keep tightening and keep tightening. Now once we get near the end, we want to make sure that the blade is lined up like this, nice and straight. Now we can set this blade to be at the, uh, coming out this way or coming out this way. And so for this, the demonstration purposes on this, I'm gonna tip the blade actually to the left, so the blade is actually pointing to the right, and then I'm gonna tighten everything up, and you have to try and hold onto everything whilst you tighten it up. That's it now. This is fully tightened, and the blade is pointing out to this side, and you'll see why that's important in just a second. So there's two things I want to show you with a coping saw. The first thing is that you need to understand what a coping saw is for, and it's traditionally used for cutting curves in wood but it's also really good for getting into areas that you can't get into with other saws. So let's just cover the basics first of all. How do we hold the saw? So I think it's best to hold it with two hands like this. Now you can do this one-handed, but it's much easier with two hands and have it um, uh, uh, right where your belly button is in the middle of your body. Now, first of all, I'm gonna cut a curve in this piece of wood. So I'm gonna start off just going really gently back and forward not a lot of downwards pressure like all saws, just to get a groove going in the piece of wood. Okay, so now I've got my groove going, I'm gonna come down the piece of wood, and as I'm sawing, I'm gonna really gently move my hands over, really, really gently, keep them going, keep them going, keep them going, and saw right out of the end to create a curve. Now it's important when you're doing this that it uh, doesn't tip like this, and it doesn't tip like this. You have to be careful, it's square in both directions all the way through the cut. So let's do that now. Okay, I'm gonna start turning my hands now. Now once I get to here, I'm gonna to need to adjust my hands. Carry on. Okay, and there we have it. Hopefully you can see in there, we've got a nice curvy cut going all the way through the wood. The other brilliant use for a coping saw is a situation like this, where you're trying to create a notch out of a piece of wood, which you need to do all the time in woodwork. So for this, you can cut down with a, a, a straight saw, a normal saw, and then we can come in here with the coping saw, bend it round and remove that edge there. So I can come in like this and I can tip my blade or I can come at kind of a, an angle across here. So look, I'm gonna start off, I think it's easier. We go with a straight saw and I'm gonna cut an angle down to here. So start with that. Now you can see now I can remove this little bit here, get that out of the way. And then I can come in here with my coping saw and come across there. Now my blade's angled the wrong way to do that, so I'm just gonna undo the handle, like I showed you earlier. 
twist this all the way around, tighten the handle back up, Great, and now it's facing the right way. So now I can get right into this slot here and come across and remove the waste. And there you go, that's the waste removed. And then you can come back in and go back the other way until you've got it exactly where you need it to go. But how else would you do this without a chisel? There's no other way, you've got to have a coping saw.